today we're going to be talking about the basics of analog console theory. Let's talk about the theory behind an inline console. Right here we have the Toft ATB32 and this is a medium format inline console. And we're going to walk down the channel strip and just talk about the basics of the signal flow. So at the very top of channel 1 here, we have the input section. This is where we can choose our phantom power, our line versus mic, our phase invert, and then something called the IP reverse, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And we have our typical gain trim knob, which sends an electrical signal through the preamp. Next, we have a EQ that we can turn on or off. and has um, four different bands. Then we have six auxes, five of which can be set to pre or post, the first one being default on pre. Then we have our, this is what makes it an inline console, our small fader, or in this case it's a small pink knob. And then we have our panning for our large fader, and then a routing matrix. So the signal is going to travel down here, and in a typical analog format, it's going to send down through the large fader first. Okay, with nothing pushed on the routing matrix. And that's going to feed a direct output out of channel 1 on the back of the console. Then that's going to flow to a tape machine, or in our case, Pro Tools. Then Pro Tools is going to feed the signal back into a monitor input on the back of channel 1, which will then come to our small fader, or the pink knob, which we can then turn up. This allows us to record at one level, and then monitor in the studio at a completely different level. Once we've done this recording, we can then go back to IP reverse in line, and what IP reverse does is it actually switches the line and the monitor feed right around. So now, instead of having the pink knob, once we've recorded our signal, it's coming back out through the monitor feed, but it's going to come down to the large fader, so we can now use it to mix the signal. So a console like this allows us to do a perfect monitoring configuration uh, without taking up two channels while recording, and then send it back on a large fader for mixing. Uh, you've been talking with me, John, an instructor here at the SAE Institute, and we just covered basic analog console theory. For more tutorials like this one, please visit usa.sae.edu.